Uh, we're also seeing how these strikes are developing. Yeah. Unions are holding this country to ransom. Look, I don't think uh, it's, it's about that. And, you know, I've done these interviews with you over a period of time on this now, and as this has grown from rail sector to postal workers to the NHS, uh, and now, now the airports and the border force, there's no point in going through dispute after dispute and blaming the staff who are going on strike, even the union leaders themselves. I saw an interesting quote from uh, Gary Smith, the leader of the GMB union uh, yesterday. They are being taken aback by the strength of feeling uh, among the workforce. I think there's a bigger question here. How is the government going to get a grip of uh, strikes that are now in one sector after another that are going to cause huge inconvenience to the public. And even when we don't have strikes, even when there isn't a strike day, things don't work properly. There's only one of those. Well, In you December, know, uh, 12th of December. You know, uh, you know, I use the Avanti West Coast line sometimes. It's not half the service it was a few years ago. Uh, we've got huge backlogs in the NHS, in a &E, which no doubt you're reporting. The government faces two big questions. How are you going to resolve these disputes? And what are you going to do to make Britain work properly again? Because even when there isn't strikes, the country's public services well, are not working. There's a third question as well, as probably, which is um, where's the 28 billion going to come from in order to pay for these um, pay rises? Where do you get that figure? Uh, that's from the government. Uh, well, it depends. I don't know how they can come up with a figure like that until we know what the settlement is. Ultimately, uh, these things will be resolved round a negotiating table. I can't say right here what the cost would be because I don't know what the final salary increase will be. So I don't know how they can come up. I'm, I'm with guessing a they're getting like to that, that figure. It's one that's been parroted by every government minister when they do the rounds uh, over the last week or so. And, and I'm guessing they come to that figure from um, the percentage increases that uh, the unions that are, are being claimed. Well, look, there's always compromise in the end. I've no doubt the unions are claiming for whatever percent uh, in, in particular sectors. And in the end, the, the resolution is usually the union has to accept maybe a bit less than it wanted and maybe the management has to give a bit more than they wanted at the start and then you get to resolve the thing. Now, the exact meeting point of that has to be done by the employers and the unions, but the government has to be focused on this because if they, if they just sit back condemning one set of workers after another, threatening to bring in new legislation, which even their own transport secretary says would make no difference to the current disputes, what does that do for the public? It does how, nothing for the how's public. How's all this going to end? Well, I hope it ends with settlements. And if I was in government now, if my colleagues were in government right now, all our energies would be focused on trying to get settlements that ease the inconvenience to the public and got a fair pay increase uh, for those involved. At the moment, I see a slight change of tone from some ministers, but I don't see that effort uh, really happening. And actually, what the Prime Minister said at uh, Prime Minister's questions yesterday, is, I think, reaching for a legislative solution that will do nothing to resolve these disputes. Do you feel that the country is grinding to a halt? I think the government is failing to get a grip. Uh, I think there's a lack of grip in Parliament. There's a lack of grip outside Parliament. And as I said a minute ago, one of the things that worries me is, even when we don't have strikes, public services are not working properly. I can scarcely think of a public service in this country that works better after 12 years of Conservative government than worked before they came into office. That is a damning indictment of their period of stewardship. You look at one service after another, okay. and that's the case. Um, are you going to miss Matt Hancock? Uh, uh, I don't know him personally. Look, these are personal decisions. Every time you come up for it, it's another five-year commitment. Uh, I gather his constituency association might have been saying no anyway, so... Uh, look, I think maybe if you sign up for uh, some of these shows, you're maybe in the departure lounge already.